Okay, people, so I wasn't sure if I was going to make this video on the latest spoilers for Dragon Ball Super's manga, Chapter 73, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm torn. I'm actually very, very torn based off the spoilers I've seen. I've only seen about like five or six pages, I want to say, max, maybe a little bit more. But for the most part, from what I've seen, I'm torn because I have a split fandom right now. I'm a fan of Goku and Vegeta, right? I, I love both of those characters, legendary characters, love them, you know, inspired, all of that jazz but on one side of things it's like one character is getting absolutely decimated and it looks like maybe the other character is going to get their moment but then i don't know because historically dragon ball like it's a lot to take in right now granted again like i said i am split because there is some stuff that i'm very excited about it's very hopeful right now but at, at the cost of what you know what i'm talking about like in case you don't know you haven't heard we about to talk about it right now because things is looking really bad for one character and they're actually replicating things like from dragon ball super itself opposed to just what they've been doing replicating things that you've seen or you may have seen from z and things like that like let's get into it these dragon ball super chapter 73 spoilers so you guys can understand what's up no matter how you So based off the spoilers that I've seen, it was Goku and Granola. They're throwing down. It looks like Goku goes into the full-on MUI. Goku goes into the Ultra Instinct, silver-haired, white-haired form. He's fighting Granola. It is hype. I'm like, yo, when this gets animated, regardless, it's going to be fire. But... At a given point, it seems as though Granola gets the best of Goku. I believe at some given point, he reveals that he's like actually not real. Like this has been a hologram or something like that. And ultimately, he manages to trick Goku and knock him out cold. Like Goku is just straight up TKO'd on the ground looking like a dummy. And it kind of just brought me back to we just seen this we just seen this happen in the moral arc where he kind of gets caught off guard and then knocked the hell out so i'm torn because on one hand then following that we see that vegeta's about to step up to the plate and it looks like vegeta's about to go up against granola and it's like yo if goku's down and vegeta's the next up maybe vegeta might get the win but then another side of me as well is screaming like yo this is the dragon ball franchise and historically they have showed us that they don't give a shit about us vegeta fans okay they don't give a shit about us Vegeta fans and I feel like we're just going to get looped in and, and suckered into believing something that is not going to come to fruition of Vegeta is going to get the win and even if he does get the win I'm not totally convinced that Granola is the big villain of this arc to begin with when you got the heaters there we got Oil, Maki and all of them like I'm not convinced that they're not going to be the ultimate prize to defeat to begin with and even if Vegeta defeats Granola here and now that he's really like getting the big victory like Granola's the big baddie of it all because in reality Granola is misled misguided he thinks that he's fighting you know for vengeance against these people that Goku and Vegeta are not that bad of people and yeah they weren't responsible so it's like basically they sacrificed repeating something that we just seen almost verbatim in the Moro arc with Goku getting surprised and knocked out by Moro and now Granola's doing that so that we could have a big Vegeta moment potentially Vegeta getting to you know step up to the plate and I like the fact that they actually had Goku go up first instead of having oh Vegeta you go up so you could get your ass kicked and Goku could come save the day but again it's just kind of like so we're shitting on Goku doing things of like oh he's looking like a bum you know all that ultra instinct thing was for nada nothing so that vegeta gets the moment it's like there's a lot of different ways we could approach this so i'm kind of like torn yeah vegeta but are they even gonna give us the vegeta moment or is that gonna be ruined too like what are we doing here folks and then going back to what i was just saying regarding the ultra instinct transformation like wait a minute so goku all this ultra instinct being able to do it in base and him training with Whis, you telling me that this dude granola that he basically made a wish on the dragon balls and all of that is for nothing all of that ultra instinct training so that's kind of another thing like i get it and that's something that is a problem inherently with goku and it probably will always be a problem at this particular point we got to accept this is something that it's not new it's been a long long time with goku it's goku's character then he still has that naivety like the naive nature of goku it's a gift and a curse it's like it keeps him innocent right because goku is a pure of heart kind of guy it's the reason why he can ride the kinton the nimbus cloud that's the reason because he's pure of heart and that naivety comes along with it i think that that's something that probably moving forward is going to have to be focused on like you could be pure of heart you could believe the best in people and want the best for people but also still keep your guard up like vegeta 
with Neville. <laughs> and I'm not trying to add extra salt to the injury and things like that. But Vegeta, you ain't catching him lacking like that. Like, oh, you're a good guy now. We all right? Like, oh, we're not fighting no more. Vegeta's going to slap the shit out you, okay? It ain't going to happen. It, it not, not on Vegeta's watch will it happen. And then watch like in the next chapter too, the same shit's going to happen. Vegeta. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just feeling a certain way about all of this. I'm curious what you guys think though. Maybe I'm tripping based off these spoilers and there's a full on chapter that's coming within the next couple days for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 73. How do you feel about Goku? He's been going up against Granola for like the last chapter or so. He's using Ultra Instinct in this chapter. And ultimately, once again, Goku gets surprised because he's naive, gets knocked out. And this time now, Vegeta is going to step up to the plate. Do you feel like, hey, at least Vegeta is getting his moment. So it's a good thing. Or are you pissed because it's like, why we got to shit on either one of them for the other one? Why can't it just be like Vegeta goes up first and he takes him out? And then if the heaters and oil in them are going to be the big villains, then so be it. But at least, you know what I'm saying? Why do we got to embarrass one or the other? Or who knows? Maybe they both going to get embarrassed. Maybe Vegeta is going to step up to the plate and Granola is going to wax his ass too. Because think about it, in the moral arc, Goku and Vegeta got their asses kicked like two or three different times. So your thoughts on that? How do you feel about Goku taking another big, big L again seemingly in this chapter and uh where do you think this is going to go again we got a few days to wait for this chapter but based on these spoilers this is looking bad for goku fans goku fans right now are down horrendous vegeta fans don't smile though we i'm not gonna smile i ain't gonna like it i'm a vegeta fan too i'm not gonna smile like they're giving vegeta the moment because trust me just trust me that these people have showed us historically how they really feel about vegeta fans so let's not get happy let's not get crazy until vegeta actually has the thumbs up sign and this dude is completely dead and over with we ain't gonna celebrate because this is dragon ball and they've never done vegeta justice so i'm not i'm not gonna celebrate just yet until we actually see the win and your thoughts and expectations for the full-on chapter again a few days from now i'm looking forward to it don't get me wrong i am a little bummed to see that goku is getting his ass whipped and it's really bad for goku fans but it's at the very least exciting that it's a little bit unpredictable there i mean at the very least it's like okay goku it's repetitive for goku but vegeta being you know the next up and goku's completely down maybe something could shake it could get a little bit you know what i'm saying we gotta wait and see but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links of course in the description below i'm for never world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga all life Bye. have an awesome day peace in and yo toyotaro if you're gonna shit on goku if you're gonna knock him out have him be naive surprised and get his ass whipped you better give vegeta that moment or vegeta fans are coming for you boy <laughs> have an awesome day <laughs>